Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXC UK and I want to welcome you to this video where I answer the question Is it absolutely necessary to change the firmware on your TEF6686 uh, as soon as you get it? The answer to that is no. Um, there's absolutely no need to change the firmware on your TEF6686. If uh, it works properly for you and you're very happy with it, well, in that case, yeah, there's uh, absolutely no need to change the firmware on your radio. If you're not very confident in changing the firmware on your radio, um, and I've got the instructions, um, uh, the instructional radio that I did um, a little while back, the link is in the uh, description below. Um, if you're not confident changing the firmware on your TEF6686, then yeah, just keep the one that you've got. Um, again, if uh, you're very happy with the way uh, it works. Um, I say this because I've had uh, one or two comments uh, on my channel um, about, uh, you know, changing the firmware on the TEF6686 and saying, you know, look, if, um, if it works for me, um, you know, there's no need to change it and it would be the same for anybody else. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, the reason I changed the firmware on my TEF6686 is because uh, me, me being, um, I would say, a bit of a tech geek, I like to, you know, mess around with uh, technology gadgets and uh, so on. And it's not the first time I've changed the firmware, the software um, that comes with, uh, you know, a, a, an electronic device. Um, but, um, you know, that's just, you know, I would say it's just me being very curious and liking, you know, I like to explore what, um, you know, what, what a device does, what, what different things it can do um, and things like that. So, yeah, it's a good thing for people like me. But it, like I said, if you're not confident about modifying or changing the firmware, the software of a device, then, yeah, maybe it's a good idea not to do it. But you could always ask somebody else if you did want the firmware, the software um, changed. So that's just a, it's just a quick video, you know, just to say about that, you know, that, you know, if it works for you, no need to, you know, to change the firmware. But, um, you know, it's just that, you know, I changed it because, like I said, not only because I'm a, a tech geek guy, but also I, um, I was told about uh, some of the features that come with the 2.0 beta compared to the firmware one versions and i liked the sound of you know the extra features that came with uh you know the 2.0 beta um firmwares and that's why i did it as well so thank you very much uh, for watching have a good weekend to everyone 73s and i'll see you in another video